Hello, my friends, welcome back to the channel. Always in the series about Room Database or Android, we are going to introduce the concept of repositories and how we can use it alongside the Room Database and the View Model in our app. Let's get started. So in the last lesson, we saw we can create this kind of database. Now we created the singleton aspect of this database to get an instance of it. Using that instance, we can get the word DAO and the, in this data object, we can access all the methods we need in order to perform all the operations like inserting, updating, and getting things. Of course, you shouldn't use it directly, this database inside your activities directly. We must do layer of separation, at least one. Now the layer of separation in our thing called view models, like we use the view models to access everything related to the model, which is data and everything. But even with that view model, we have to make another layer that will deal with what with the data. We will create something called the repository. Well, some people like to put the repositories, like the abstract definition of the repositories inside the domain layer, but the implementation will go to the infrastructure layer. But here I'm just trying to put an example, so I will just put it here. And let's call it repository, and let's make it word repository. Also, some people try to make it as an interface and implement it using like default word repository or word repository implementation. Well, in our case, for the interface, there is only one implementation. So I like to keep this kind of repository as normal class. And if I need to create like, let's say in some testing part or there is multiple implementation of that, I can abstract that into like an interface with an implementation. Okay, I will just create word repository here. For, and for that repository exists, we need something called the database. So we need to pass the database. Well, to use our database, like if you go to database here, we will need this kind of function. So we will need word database dot what dot get database instance. But for that instance to exist, we need to pass the context. So first of all, we won't be using that in the next lesson, I think, because we will try to refactor that to use dependency injection with health. So we will provide this instance directly. But we will set the ground here. We'll let this interface like following or this class to accept what? To accept the database directly. So it will be private word database like that. Let me just do while of course. Can use it like following or we can insert directly what we can insert directly the DAO. So why do we need this repository first? As I said, it's a layer of separation between the data and everything else. But why we can't use directly our word database inside the view model? Well, because sometimes the operations are pretty simple, like just getting the data and inserting them into the database, but sometimes they are complex. And repositories are often defined like the following, like repository are a way to access multiple data sources. In our case, we have only one data source, which is the database, which is the word database. Let's say you have multiple, like for example, you need two databases or two DAOs and one network, like data source, how you can combine them to do one single operation. If you try to use all of that in the view model, you will pollute your view model. Like we want this kind of, not pollution of course, but this kind of logic to have exist here in the repository. So changing that in the repository won't change how the view model will interact with it. So that's it. So here we'll try to define the operations with respect to the view model we are going to use that. So here I will define function to insert things, like it will be suspended in function of course, to insert a word and I'm going to use my word database dot DAO like that or we could just pass our DAO here it doesn't matter so with that DAO I can do insert word and uh, this is a spendable function that's why you have this spent here and here we need a parameter so we'll get it from here insert word we have word now keep in mind that I'm using this word as domain model so it is database model and domain model. I don't want to create word specific to database and word specific to our domain. So this function will be used directly by the view model. You would say why I wouldn't use this directly. Well, you can do that, of course, because this is simple. If you had like multiple logic going here, multiple business logic going here, like insert it here and get something from the network and do the same and update here, it would be difficult to put it in the view model directly. So we want to keep all the changes happening here in the database or happening here in the repository. Well, here, for example, in the DAO, let me go back to the DAO here. I will. I want to get all the word as a library. Well, you can get it also as flow. We can we can convert it like the following. We can use it like the following, or we can use like data. But here I'm just going to use this thing. Like I will make function which is get all words directly using this. One. This will return a flow. 
Now we are defining these two main operations, like we can use all the operations. I made the operations just to demonstrate them, like the update and the insert and everything, but I'm just going to use these two for demonstration purposes. I don't think even we are going to build a layout for that because our aim here to understand how we can use this database with view model repositories and everything. We will see that in the future, of course. So how we can use these things here? So the idea is pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a main or I'm going to create a view model. Let's call it our main view model, like follow. This will extend from view model and well, of course, like that. Let me just make it a little bit big. And for that view model, I need to pass my repository. So I can limit the access from that view model to the repository instead of directly to the database. As you said, this is an extra layer for protection of changes. So here I'm going to use private val and I'm going to use like normal repository, like let's call it word repo, like following. And here in the view model, well, I'm going to use those two methods I created. All the great stuff can happen here because this view model is responsible for the UI. So it can change the output of the repository to be specific to the UI. That's the greatest part about using this layer of separation to do intermediate things. So let me just create a function here called get all words. It would be just the same as word repository dot get all words. And here inside that view model, let's say I want to just use as live date. This will change as live date. Now here, bear in mind, like you can copy a query in context. And here, for example, I can use also my view model scope here, like query in context. Here. Let's say also I want to implement the other function, which is function like add my word. Now here in that word, what we can do is just simply pass our word as a simple string. We won't construct that word within the UI. And here we can create that word, like this specific logic to that word. Let me just do that. This is my word, call it val. And uh, yeah, we need some other parameters here. Let me check control P, control P in order to see things. Now here, for example, for the ID, I will just put thing. I will put the word to be equal to the word, like following. And I will put like everything as, as it is. Like room, we change this to make it auto-generated, okay? That would work and the counter like i'm just it is just an example here for zero let me just put the counter i can put the counter and the create date will be assigned automatically so that would work and then what i can do is use the word repository here to insert my word object now as you can see this is like suspendable function well we can make this suspend here and it would work but here at that point on the view model we have we can like work on it what we can do is like do view model scope dot Lash, like following and that would work simply now we can call these functions directly into our app now we will run our application in order to see if it is working or not well we will see simply how we can use them and we will see that with the app inspection here we need i think a way to insert some words right so we have to make some things to the ui so here i have added multiple things first of all i've added my view model as parameter to this one to this greeting like i just wanted to make this as straightforward as possible because as i said i won't like introduce any jetpack compose thing here so simply i will just create text field like that like it is mutable state of word like this is default value with the label and i have a button that will make tap or just insert into the database Okay, like this is a big word. Or just insert, like the following. And here, like this is text, and here I created like this view model, like the following. Now I created that using like view model provider and view model factories. And here for the view model factories, here it is. Like we are using this new instance factory variation of the view model provider, and we'll provide the word order repository. The way to create the word order repository is like the following. Well, we have to get this word database with our context from this activity. And using that, we are creating our word repository. And using that word repository, we can create our view model and view model required that. Now keep in mind that all this is temporary until we introduce like dependency injection and everything will be automatic. Like we won't need any of that. We will just proceed this one with like add inject, like following with our constructor and everything will go straight away. Now that we will do that in the next video. And for the moment, in order to run that, let's run it now. Let me go back to our main activity, I think. Yeah, so here, here it is our application. Like here is our word, like this is the default value here. And this is label, and if we delete that, like 
we can make new words. Like the first word would be hello. Now, in order to debug and see live snapshot of your application, go here to the app inspection and here in the app inspection, you will see this thing. You can do database inspector to view database thing, network inspection to view like incoming and outcoming like network request, and you can see the post parameters and everything. And here it is specific to the background task if you like to inspect and debug like work manager things. So we go here, as you can see, the application is running, but we don't have anything in the database. Why? Because we didn't create it yet. Like Room will create the database for the first operation. So if you insert this, do the insert, as you can see, it created immediately. Here is our word hello, here is the created date, and here is the two. If we try to do like another word here, insert, as you can see, nothing got updated, but if I do this refresh, you see the second word here. So this is how we can make or insert things into the database using this kind of thing. Like from the UI, it is going to the view model. As you can see, where is the view model here? The view model is going here, right? When we click on the button, we will use our view model in order to add the word. And when adding the word, we'll just create the object and insert it. That's it. Now we need to test also this, like I want to show you uh, if this is working correctly or not. I'm just going to print them in the locket. So here after setting the content, what I will do, I will try to use our view model in order to get all the word. And I'm just going to observe them using this one and print it. Let's run it. Now for the first time, what we will have, we will have simply the two words listed here. Let me do just system. As you can see, we have two words, the word hello and the other word, which is two hello word. Now, if I add another one right now, let's give it word 13, it will immediately update. Why? Because you are using flow with the live data thing. So this is a great way to observe changes in the database, like room provide this kind of aspect, like it will provide this observable database. Now I'm having this problem here with my emulator. Let me insert another word. Let's call it Eunice, insert it. And you will have the last word here. Now keep in mind that it will give you always all the list, right? It won't give you the last updated thing. Now, well, you can do that with several mechanisms, but this is the way it is working right now. So this is it on how to use a view model with your UI. Like from the UI, you are using the view model. In that view model, we are using that repository. So we are making this decoupled from the repository so that if you want to change something specific to that to suit our UI, we can do that independently of that word repository. And if you want to change something specific to the data, let's say we want to insert it in a specific way, add it to the network, for example, the view model won't change by any manner. The same thing, let's say if you want to change the database, for example, this is just an example. Let's say we want to replace like a room database with RAM, for example, or the light database, okay? Well, some of them use SQLite by default, but if you want to change that, we will only change this word repository and the other thing. We won't touch, that's the beauty. We won't touch main view model because the word repository abstract the interaction with our data. And UI won't change, of course, because we are just representing it. Now, keep in mind that this word is a problem because we are relying on the word from that entity primary key from the room. That way, we want a separate model to represent the domain thing that is independent than any framework like this room, for example. So that's why we use this kind of best practices in order to isolate changes as minimal as possible. All right, so yeah, this is it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to introduce health as a way to do dependency injection so we can get rid of many things. Like we can get rid of while well, everything is going here, like we can get rid of this, we do an inject here, we can get rid of this view model factory, we can get rid of this also things here like singleton and everything because we can do that with automatic dependency injection like the health provide this scoping for singleton objects. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.